Okay, see Lindewald videos, TI Inspire, CX CAS, complex numbers, super easy. First, we already know the definition. I'm assuming we already know the definition of a complex number, which is A plus BI, where I is the imaginary number. And I wrote this note to myself down here, don't waste time, because I watch somebody else's video, and I keep catching crap for this from other people, but I watch other people's videos sometimes, and I'm like, yes, that works, but why would you go through all that iteration? Why would you go through all that crap to do something that you can just convince your calculator to do in a much easier way. So here's my method, and I really encourage you to go look at some other people's method for how to do this with the TI Inspire CAS, and tell me which way is more effective. So this is the test that I did, right? Here's the test that I, some of the tests that I did. I did this, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna just check this out, and I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna ask myself, I'm gonna ask the calculator this question. I'm like, okay, ask the calculator the question. Square root, negative one. Okay, so so the other person that does this video says this, and it says, oh, it says rectangular or polar. Go to the, your mode setting and change to this. And I'm saying, why would I do that? Like, what if I just did this? What if I just said, first I said, what happened if I tried to factor it? I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do the same thing, right? I'm just testing my way through this thing because I'm trying to find what always works and what works most easily. I'm like, okay, same crap. So I'm like, okay, that didn't work. Like, you know what, I have one last thing I might try. So I'm gonna try C factor, which is complex factor. I didn't go into settings, didn't change anything, don't have to go back and forth, changing in and out of any modes. I'm just gonna try this, I'm like, okay. Um, so fa complex factor, square root, negative one. Oh, oh, there it is. Like, okay, let me mess with this a little bit more because I wanna make sure this doesn't screw up something else. So what if I always use C factor, complex factor, to instead of instead of factor? Like what would that do? Like, because we know that the square root of four, for example, should be two. Yeah, it didn't screw up anything. I'm gonna try again, I'm like, okay, well what if I take, what if I complex factor, square root, negative four. Gives me the correct answer. I'm like, okay, how come it worked here? How come it worked on this one right here? Why did this work? I'm like, okay, well, why did that work? Right? Like, I complex factors. I'm like, okay, and I get back answer. I'm like, shit. But I know that a complex answer is a the real value plus the imaginary value. So then the value here has to be two. So I just ask my calculator this question: Is two the same as two plus? zero, check this out, this is really important, because you can't use I from here, you have to use I from over here. You have to use the imaginary number I. I'm like, okay, is two equal to two plus zero I? Well, yes, yes it is. Therefore, I don't have to screw with this bit, right? I don't have to mess with it. Also, let's see what happens if you try to multiply some stuff. What if you did, what if you did I, what if you did I times I, would you have to be in a complex mode, or a rectangular mode, to make this work? No, you would not have to be. So I'm like, okay, I don't need to go changing my mode settings to make this work for m myself. Like, okay, sometimes we get these questions. We're like, okay, what is the, what is, right? What is I to the third power? I to the third power should be opposite I. It worked. I'm like, okay, well, what if I got really complex with this? What if I made this really tough? Then what would happen? What if I did I, because look, I'm using the correct form here. I'm over, right, to the arrow. I'm following the correct form. I'm using things that the calculator can, can, can understand. I'm like, okay, to the 27th power. And if that works, that should also be opposite I. I'm like, okay, let's see what happens there. So without making all those changes that this other um, person made, and her changes are correct. They're correct. It's just, I'm really against changing things in mode unless you have to, unless there's some reason, because if you do that, you have to go all the way back through the home, through home, through settings, through document settings to change that crap. You have to go through all that pull down menu stuff. And I'm like, why would you bother? Why wouldn't you just do it this way? So I just wanted to show you that this works. This is a really, really simple way to do this. If you can find a flaw in it, no, no hard feelings. Let me know where, where the flaw is, but I don't, I don't see one. I think this is the easiest 
most efficient way to do this. So if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Um, and if you haven't already subscribed, would you please? Thanks.